Can you control Pro Tools using a Kindle Fire? Absolutely. So let's check it out using an app called TouchDoll. So as you can see we have Pro Tools open and we also have TouchDoll open on our Android device, in this case a Kindle Fire. So let's take a quick overview of some of the basic operations we can perform with TouchDoll to wirelessly control our DAW, in this case Pro Tools. So the first thing I'll mention is in this video I'm not going to cover all the advanced features, I'm just going to cover some of the basic things to show you that TouchDoll does indeed work with Pro Tools. But we're just going to cover some of the basic features like adjusting faders, panning, that sort of thing. But to really learn what TouchDoll is capable of, I definitely suggest you check out the manufacturer's website and read through the instructional material provided. As you can see there are tons of options, different buttons you can push. I mean we have mode, pan, plugin, assign, send, input, output. We have all kind of automation, uh, write, read, latch, trim, we have cut, we have our banks, of course, separate, paste, shift, option, control, alt, as you can see, tons of different options. So let's get started with just the basic overview. So of course with TouchDoll we can control our volume faders here. So I'll just touch this and see right there on the Guitar 1 track how it adjusts. And we can also see a value change up in our scribble strip on the actual Kindle Fire here in TouchDoll. So you see if I pull way up we see a plus 11 it's the same in Pro Tools pull it down minus 8 minus 8 in Pro Tools very cool. We do have a scripple strip area here that names our track so we have guitar 1, bass, vocals, audio 4, 5, BFD 2 and master 1 that's spelled out right on our Kindle Fire in TouchDoll here and that's in relation to the names we've given our tracks in Pro Tools. We can of course do panning, so we'll go back to our Guitar 1 track and we'll just start panning here. Very nice, very easy. Alright, go to another track here, say the vocal track, start panning there. Do a little bit of panning on that. Alright, we can also pan stereo tracks, so our BFD2 track is a stereo track. So if I just start panning, we'll see the left knob moving. Then we'll come over here and click this pan button. And now we can pan the right knob however we want. Very nice. Very easy to control. We can switch between our mix and edit window. There's our edit window. There's our mix window. Back to the edit window. Look up at the top where we choose our modes. It's a shuffle spot, slip, grid. We can change that right here by clicking this mode button. So we're in shuffle, slip, spot, grid. We have tool controls here. So see in Pro Tools how we're changing. Now we're on the pencil tool over to the zoom tool and so on. We have our transport open now and we can open and close our transport with just a click here. Very easy. Go back to our mix window. We can arm our track so guitar one will arm that and then we'll arm audio five. We can solo a mute track so we'll solo our bass track and solo our vocal track. Take those off solo, take those off arm. We'll mute say audio five and then mute BFD two. Do all that right within TouchDoll on our Android device, in this case a Kindle Fire. So we have scrub, navigation, zoom controls down here, which I'm not going to get into. And of course another basic control that you'll need would be the ability to play back, record, and you can see we have a record button here so I can arm my track and then re start recording, which I don't want to do right now. Take that off arm, but you can see how you can do that, very easy. We can also of course play back, which is very important, so we'll just click the play button here and we start playback and we hear our drum track playing. While the drum track is playing, you see on screen we have volume meters showing up and we also have volume meters showing up here in TouchDoll on our Android device. So it makes it very easy to get a quick reference of exactly how loud your song is right from inside TouchDoll on your Android device. Of course we can stop. There we go. So there are tons of different controls and ways you can use TouchDoll to wirelessly manipulate Pro Tools or another DAW. No wires connected here to our Kindle Fire. We are controlling all of this right now over a network, MIDI over a network. Really cool. And it's actually very easy to set up. I'm on Windows. It was a breeze to set up. And those particulars are listed on the manufacturer's website. So check out TouchDoll. It's a really cool application.